And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Good morning. Let's start off with a viewer picture that was sent in by Robert to me on Facebook yesterday of the thunderstorm in Pocatello. Look at that cloud out there. We also saw lots of rain from this thunderstorm that did move through yesterday. And if you do have any more storm pictures, you can send them into my social media links listed above. Now, speaking of thunderstorms, we actually are seeing some across Clark and also across Fremont counties to start off this morning. Those storms will be moving eastward over the next hour or so. So if you are located in those areas, you may want to grab the umbrella at least for this morning and keep it on handy as well. There is a chance for more showers and storms in your areas later on this afternoon. Temperatures out there right now pretty comfortable to start off the morning, mainly in the 50s across the Snake River Plain. Right now in Idaho Falls, it's 52 degrees. It's 56 in Blackfoot, 58 in Pocatello, 54 degrees in Rexburg, slightly cooler across Island Park, coming in at 51 degrees. Winds right now for the most part across the Snake River Plain, generally calm to a light breeze right around 5 miles per hour in Idaho Falls and also in Pocatello. Windier across Dubois coming in at 15 miles per hour. And for the most part, for the Snake River Plain today, expect winds to be between about 5 to even 15 miles per hour by this afternoon as that area of low pressure to our northwest will actually cause it to be slightly breezier in our areas. And as it tries to shift eastward, it could potentially bring some of this moisture to the central mountains and also could drive some more unsettled weather into the upper Snake Highlands and also into western Wyoming for this afternoon, but for the Snake River Plain, we should be dry. You are seeing those clouds out there on the Storm Tracker satellite for the most part to start off the morning. And some of the clouds will actually linger as we move throughout the morning. But by this afternoon, we'll see some sunshine as well. So throughout the day, expect a mixture of sunshine and clouds out there with temperatures still continuing to be warm, but a couple of degrees cooler than what they were yesterday. It will be 86 today in Idaho Falls, 85 degrees in Rexburg, 87 this afternoon in Pocatello. For the Central Mountains, isolated showers and thunderstorms will be possible for today with high temperatures, mainly in the 80s, a few locations staying in those 70s. It'll be 79 today in Lodore, 75 in Stanley, 82 today in Salmon, 86 degrees today in Chalice and across the highlands in western Wyoming. Like I mentioned, keep that umbrella handy for today. Isolated showers and storms will be possible for this afternoon. Some areas may be dry, but again, don't be surprised if you do see one pop up in your area. High temperatures for the most part warm in your area as well. 80 today in Afton, 80 in Soda Springs, 78 today in Jackson, and it will also be 78 degrees today in Driggs. Looking ahead to this evening, for the most part, temperatures pretty comfortable out there. Once again, dropping into the 50s. And for the overnight, we will see a partly cloudy sky. We could see isolated showers and storms linger in both the Central Mountains and the Highlands in Western Wyoming, at least through the early evening. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast leaves us with a chance for showers and storms for Pocatello on Wednesday and Thursday. Now for Thursday, if we see any moisture, the storms will be very isolated out there. I don't think it will ruin any holiday plans with a high temperature of 80 degrees. Friday and Saturday, mainly sunny temperatures warm into the lower 90s by Sunday. Across Idaho Falls, your seven day forecast, partly sunny for today, a chance of showers and storms on Wednesday. Isolated storms possible on Thursday with a mainly sunny finish to the work week on Friday. Teton area, chance of showers and storms Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday with a partly sunny finish to the work week on Friday and across the Central Mountains. Salmon Chalice and Mackey, chance of showers and storms Tuesday through Thursday.